So, raspberries. Yes, raspberries. Does your moustached monkey give any clue as to any specific raspberry item he likes more than any other? Nope, he likes raspberries as a whole. Have you tried luring him in with some scones smothered with raspberry jam? You know, he took them, but returned the scones later in the day with the jam licked off them. What about a stash of jam sandwiches? No, we tried that about a month ago. He was able to take the whole lot of sandwiches in a flash. Quicker than lightning. We even got a note back from him later in the day saying, ha ha suckers. You can't fool me that easily. We had, I had those sandwiches tested and I'm still alive. But didn't you poison those sandwiches with untraceable yet extreme Indeed I did. Poison? But alas, he's still here. <sighs> I could really do with some music on right about now. What do you reckon? True that. news. The elusive moustache monkey is undergoing emergency surgery tonight what? after becoming delusional. Oh, hello. This could just about be of interest. Our witnesses are saying he was driving erratically, yelling out the window different things, before speeding through a thick fog of raspberry scented bubbles, running over a skate ramp, then rolling his vehicle over a pineapple and eventually crashing into a pile of raspberries. In which he was stuck under for 45 minutes. But sakes, Violet, we couldn't have done it without you. How in the name of anything did you manage to arrange all that? Well, all I'll say is, after being imprisoned in the elusive monkey's lair for so long and seeing what he gets up to, I guess he had a dose of his own medicine. You lot. Oh, how I despise you all. Especially you, Violet. Traitor! Why don't you take this back and go back to spewing rainbows or something? With your moustache back. Your beloved moustache. See, there we go, you got it back. Yay! I suppose you want to know what I do with the moustaches then? Yeah, actually, that would be great, well, thanks. The truth is, it all started when I learned how to knit. My family didn't have much money for wool. So my dad and uncles would grow and colour their beards so we could knit stuff out of them. Where's the facial hair, Link? But what about Honestly, the real reason? It's because I've always wanted to do something different and quirky. I've always been a fan of the Guinness Book of Records and the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museums. My vision long term was, don't laugh, to own a moustache museum. It was going to be interactive and everrill. Then there was the thrill I was getting in obtaining moustaches and learning about them. I... I... I'm sorry for everything.